Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Wrestling Realms Basement Podcast. It's a special edition. We're doing past battleground predictions. They're still be in California. Just until the next Wednesday. Uh, I'll be doing my predictions Thursday night. I'll be reading the match card, but I don't sit here looking stupid. Just free and past what you're doing as a token. I do have a little complaint, a couple, or mainly five complaints about SmackDown and how this is a minor paper rework before SummerSlam. That there are five people. Well, technically six. One's a tag team. Actually, two are a tag team, but now one's broken off that I had in mind to talk about where I feel like they're being underused on SmackDown right now and they could add to the Battleground card, but they don't know if they do. Uh, I guess I'll do that first, so I'm more positive note with predictions. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, you could chime in it too if you feel. Okay. Uh, I do feel like SmackDown's making a mistake right now with Ty Dillinger. I agree. Uh, besides, a main, besides a few being English, he hasn't done much. So it's being called up, and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, the only other thing he's done is get squashed by gender. First person gender be clean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of surprised SmackDown's not utilizing him since he is popular. And, uh, SmackDown don't, is the only the show where it's easier for, the fan, for them to gauge the fans' reactions to listen to. I mean, you can say SmackDown's roster stack, they only have two hours. But, yeah. And someone with that kind of popularity probably shouldn't just toss it aside. Yeah. Anything you got? Uh. My my only I'll play devil's advocate. My only point against it would be who exactly on the roster right now would he go up against? Dolph's the only person I can think of. Yeah. But Dolph, the way he seems to be, he seems to be on his way out. Yes. Uh, because he has been on TV, he was the first one from the independence about Royal very easily. Uh, this is where I overlooked the underused superstars going to SummerSlam. They play like that on SmackDown. Yes. Uh, it's not as, and complaints about their book and not SmackDown itself. Uh, another person I think we overlooked is, for some reason, is when we were saying, because being a champion, you shouldn't be overlooked. <laughs> but I, I do feel Naomi's being overlooked and underused as champion. Uh, this is the, she's been, uh, SmackDown Women's Champion now for three SmackDown Live only pay per views, yeah. and she's defended the belt on only one of them against Lana. Backlash, she was in a six one tag. The least important part of Becky, of Becky Charlotte and herself versus the Walking Committee, mind you. And then this Sunday is a failed five way elimination match, and there's no pay per view. Naomi is on the card, and once again, I'll play Devil's Advocate against myself here. Uh, there's no other woman for Naomi defending yes, unless it's Carmella. But I don't really see Carmella cash in fairly, saying, uh, I'm just going to cash in. So it's yeah, just... Yeah, then the only other outside option would be pulling Summer Rae out of thin air and going, okay, she's no more contender. Right. So I do think that after a nice title win for her at WrestleMania, this is her, her ring. Yeah. Uh, the way she's been treated, and she's I guess under you, underused is more the right word to overlook because overlook she's a champ. Mm-hmm. But underused, and hopefully some for a big showdown just with Charlotte on on SummerSlam. Charlotte will be the biggest match that we could get at this point. Well, Charlotte or somebody else I think is actually winning. Yeah, with uh, with SmackDown, for some reason they love putting multi woman matches in there. I don't know why they developed this straight. I, I really don't. Uh, but ever since WrestleMania, it's it seems like you need at least five women on the card, right? Just for like your one match, quota. yeah. Uh, not not even in one match sometimes. Uh, sometimes sometimes they have two matches. But that's okay though. Yeah. If they're two separate stores. Uh, but still, it, it takes away from the it, it, from individual stories. Um, well, every from strong individual stories. Since WrestleMania, every SmackDown. Pay per view offered has only been a multi woman match yeah. since WrestleMania, besides the Omni Alon. Yeah. Which was in a separate story. But everything else was everything. The, these five women, the, pretty much what you're doing is not kind of Naomi, and you're replacing Carmella with Lana in this case. Yeah. And, <laughs> and for a long time, and for a very few weeks, uh, it seemed like they were trying to do more work on the women's winning the back instead of the women's championship. Mm. And. And the, I guess the only thing to add to that is that I did what you try to say with sometimes separate storylines for the woman 
they just turned him on the car. But the elimination chamber that that was the first time in history where there were three women wall one matches on the car by each woman's match has a story. Yeah. Back in making Natalia and Nikki, which I first stole the show for the woman. Yeah. So and uh Naomi and Alexa. Like, but in this case now it's just been throw everybody to throw Naomi to the white side. <laughs> Make sure the other five fight you out. Now replace La Carmella with Lana. Because Carmella's already got a guaranteed title shot whenever the hell she wants it. That that's what I feel like. Yeah. Uh something I was like, this is bro this is probably we were saying is is off to the best part of the show. It's more so I would like to actually see them have a match on Sunday. They're not gonna be overlooked or under use, I would say Bruzango, I'd probably say. I'm hoping like I don't want the sword to end ironically anytime soon, but I feel like it should at least be half off on pay per view. Yeah. The mystery yourself. Of summer now, because after what happened on Raw tonight, the, the American outfit option is completely out the window. Yeah. yeah. It, it was like point zero two percent that like okay maybe you can use American Alpha and now it's it's gone. And I I will say that uh it, not strike as you that correctly, I'm gonna roll for Zaga. I just want it is more selfish, I just want to see it more. Uh somebody else that was being underused, you know they he well I want that at the point I'm sticking this one half of them had a great singles run recently. A little mini singles run. I was going to say, American Alpha was being underused a little bit on SmackDown. Now that changed tonight. Uh, so I'm not going to say Gable's being underused on his own because they have been using Gable on his own, so just scratch that. And uh, However, you can't talk about, for some reason, WWE is just like face systematically teams. taking out face tag teams. Uh, NXT, oh. they did it with uh, Gargano and Ciampa. DIY, which I thought. Yeah, I, I understood that one. Uh, however, they didn't have the systematically, like every system, uh, every tag team has just been split up. And then it was Enzo and Cass, who are, I'm giving props where they are, are killing it right now. But my think is long term, that, that that's going to do more harm than good to the tag division itself. Yeah, eventually they're going to have to stop feuding with each other. Right. And, and they're, which Castle rate is still kind of fuel with Benzo. He does move on to Big Show. Yeah. Like, hopefully Big Show and Enzo actually stay a team for this. Uh... They're okay, Alpha Alpha just broke up. Gold Troop broke up. I know they weren't mush in the tag division. And Gold is still better on his own. But once again, it was enough pure bodies that you could use to fill in. And if it's not obvious on Rural... Actually, there's two tag teams. Now, Ray obviously soon break up in the coming months, weeks for Eric Alder. Uh, the Hardys are obviously going to have to split eventually, because you can't see them in tag division yeah. forever, just wait. By Survivor Series, the Hardys, I think the Hardys are split by SummerSlam, honestly, originally. Yeah. I really think they kept them together, because Vince, I guess, decided he's not a big fan of tag team wrestling right now, unless it's the Hardys. So it's, it's Zara Sheamus, so it's time to break up everybody else. Oh. Uh, but even on SmackDown, though, they've really been teased on Hyperus spoiled, too. Oh, yeah. So, which now I will I wish now I would drop. I would just, uh, because it's SmackDown, SmackDown's already down to three face tag teams now. With Jason Jordan, with, yeah. with Mark Calvin being spoiled. The only other thing I would say is put Harper and Rowan back together with SmackDown. Yeah, because for some, for some reason they're not. Yeah, Harper was my next one. Yeah. I don't like that. It's going to get to separately. Uh, and the... More on that a bit. And the... My other option is... Since he's not the one... He's not really making stars on one role. Uh, if you break up Zach and Mojo, put Polkas back with Zach. And I guess trade Jason Jordan for Hawkins. And put Polkas back with Zach with SmackDown. If you're going to break up Mojo. Because it looks like Mojo's trying to heal anyway. Uh, and the other person I was going to say was... That was on the right big bang, probably in the last 10 years. Uh, Luke Harper. Uh, he has everything Vince will like. Maybe not the right look, but he has the right size and yeah. wrestling ability and power and speed. I'm not really sure why he's not getting pushed on SmackDown rather than the few with Rowan for Backlash. Other than that, he just shows up in Battle Royals or like yeah. Fire, like just put Jim or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Harper should really, really, really be used. Um, 
for some reason you have a very main event oriented big card. I think this is one of the downsides of having that. Um, right, because a lot of people would just basically could fill out a great mid card. Yeah. Uh, uh, just imagine a mid card with uh, Harper, Sammy, Mike Bennett, Dom Tom Ziggler, Ty, uh, Ty, Rowan, Rowan, uh, Table, Table now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even before you put him in a big match, you can use uh, Shinsuke Nakamura in that position as well. Right, because I'm not not more important when we moved on. So yeah. yeah. So. So I try to figure out how to connect the dots on him. Um. <laughs> now we get to the match card. Uh, one match that is more or less a rumor to happen. We'll do first with past predictions. Not, not us, not scheduled yet, but probably add tomorrow night on SmackDown Live. Uh. Mike Canales on the Rory vs. Sami Zayn. Uh, if this match actually does end in a pack thing, uh, my pick will probably be Mike Bennett, uh, just because it would be his first match. And you want to start him off on a stronger note. Uh, next, uh, now the six matches are scheduled. Uh, AJ Styles with Collins for the United States Championship. I'm actually going to pick Kevin Owens. I think he's going to get the belt back. And that's just because I think AJ is probably going back in the main event scene. Uh, maybe after SummerSlam, and they just have like a big gimmick blow off for him and Owens at SummerSlam. Uh, I can also see it going the other way to J Series Styles, but I'll stick with Kevin Owens. Uh, so you do support that they just gave AJ a big moment for his team date, Master Brand. Yeah. Uh, Shusuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. Um, uh, this one's a little tougher because I do know what they do with the Money in the Bank Ruth case, which I hope they don't do, which they just tab them and lose repeatedly until they actually get the cash in where they lose that night and then cash it in at the very end and, oh my god, such a surprise. Uh, but I have a feeling that's what's going to happen and Nakamura probably does need to at least look still... Look, uh, still look strong in the ring, so I'll go with Nakamura. Uh, fail five way elimination match to turn a contender for SmackDown's World Championship at SummerSlam. Charlotte versus Becky versus Natalia versus Tamina versus Lana. Uh, I think I have to go with Charlotte in this one. Uh, she is probably the biggest woman SmackDown has. I just probably not probably not even probably she is the biggest woman that SmackDown has. Uh. Currently on the roster, active roster. So I think that would be the much bigger match that they would try to do for SummerSlam. Charlotte and Nia. Uh, my pick, you'll see on Thursday, is in the end of the match. Uh, fly, fly match, John Cena versus Rusev. Uh, Cena. Uh, it's just because. Well, I'm happy they did it in a match where Rusev doesn't have to get pinned. We think. The last five match, Rusev had to make Jack Swagger tap down SummerSlam. Yeah. 2014. Alright, right, fine. We'll take it. Uh, but sure. hopefully, it's right. just you climb up the pole or whatever and you grab the flag. Uh, and yeah, in this, patriotic, in this patriotic type thing. It's Mr. America, Cena, Captain America, what do you want to call him? It, it, it's his match still. Right, that's why we're such so sure. uh, I do agree with Rusev uh, should win. However, I don't think he's going to. Unless Cena's tapping out. I'll let you know what my pitfall submission. Because otherwise, then, if Cena's going to face gender at SummerSlam as the ring winner, uh, then you will kind of want him with a win going to it. Yeah. I am not a fan, though. It seems that few happen for seeing it back to back. No. Uh, or Russo being used as film. Uh, Tiny Team Master against SmackDown, Tiny Team Changer for the Russo's vs. New Day. I'm going to go with the. I'm going to go with the Usos keeping their belt. At least keeping their belts. I'll go with them for the win now. Uh, I'll probably say they win very uh, flukely and unclean, so that it sets up another match between New Day and Usos, and which they would uh, take it at SummerSlam. 
and less like things to me uh to jump prison match the championship. The Maharaja. The Jimper. The whole versus Randy Orton. I'm gonna go with Jinder Mahal in this one. Um, I guess he would be the he would be slightly the fresher story at SummerSlam. Um, yeah, yeah. If Orton wins, you get a rematch. Up. Yeah, if Orton wins, you get a rematch. Let's hope we don't. Smack with Jinder, you get a, with Jinder, you get a newer match, and you don't have to necessarily rely on that match to be the main event of your SummerSlam card. It's not going to do with the Fatal because four yeah, because the Fatal Four Way is obviously going to be in that time. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Jinder. Uh, there are some interesting rumors that Jinder is facing that have ranged from returns to John Cena to a return superstars to Nakamura. So we'll, we'll see. I'm thinking it's still Cena. Yeah. But I'll give more out on Thursday and tomorrow night on the SmackDown Live review. Alright, that's it for tonight. Yeah. I'll be back next Thursday. I'll be back all week. You get a whole week with him. You get a whole ten days with me. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I, I can't, can't. Yeah, I'm waiting. No, no eight days. <laughs> eight days with me. Uh, and you get to be our front end. You should be a part of the show on Thursday. Right, and probably more commonly than our other friends. Yeah. Uh, no names, because... They'll probably watch. Right. Um... Then, uh, so once again, just review the week two, tomorrow night, start that live event to the final live review, Wednesday night, NXT review. Thursday, Battleground Predictions, actually, uh, I might be doing the podcast on Thursday too this week. Now that I'm just thinking about it, just to make it, just to make my life easier. Uh, do all the big stuff on Thursday, because I'm doing the Battleground, because the Battleground Predictions were part of the podcast anyway, originally. So, I might do the Roll versus SmackDown this week too on Thursday. Uh, Friday I'll be around with news though. Saturday I'll be on Saturday if Saturday and Sunday I'll, I'll give you guys time to digest. Uh then uh next week same scheduled news throughout the day. Uh then Thursday Battleground review. Battleground review I will try Battleground review can wait until Thursday. Okay. So this if he watch the Battleground on Thursday. Yeah. Then we can both give our review instead of me giving one and him giving one. And then, uh, then the final week, everything should be back to normal. Until the final week, because then we go to House Fargo. Uh, yes. SummerSlam week is when things will have to be more regularly scheduled. As yes. hectic as that's going to be. SummerSlam week is going to be more regularly scheduled. Um, until then, you're going to have to bear with us with this great schedule until August. Most of the time, we're going to be more in order. Yes. And, uh,. Catch us on Twitter at the Pat Young 215. At the Jovenudo 215. And I am the and uh, please hit the subscribe, subscribe button. button because I uh, always forget. Yeah. So. Uh, feel free to uh, reply to the video. And we also have an Instagram which is wrestling IMB. By the way, he's in charge of the social media. More so the Instagram one. Because I you know I have an Instagram, I forget to go on it. Uh <laughs> so there's that. Uh, the the Twitter, if you're not subscribed, the links are on our Twitter. Yes. I Maybe I gotta learn how to title the, the Twitters too, because I just put the YouTube link. But you can just click on them if you see the video. Right. Uh, and I'll see you next uh, tomorrow.